What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Last of Us multiplayer situation. We heard quite a bit of it uh, yesterday over on Twitter. Some official, right? Some from Naughty Dog, and then also some from our favorite friend, Jason Schreier. Now, this is a really good time to bring up something that I've been holding on, you know, deep inside me that I do want to talk about, and now it directly relates to The Last of Us. I want to talk really quickly about Jason Schreier because... There's this video that I think does an incredible, incredible job from 100% Star Wars. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. And if you believe this person, this person goes through a 22-minute you know, saga of what he believes is happening and has happened with the KOTOR remake. And it seems like he knows people directly there. They talk to him. He puts it together better than I've ever seen anybody do it. And in his little debriefing, he talks about Jason Trier and how in that article, remember the thing that kind of destroyed KOTOR, talking about how it had been, you know, iced and all of these different issues that were going on. Well, that, some of it was true, but a lot of it was greatly exaggerated for clicks. Jason Trier did it for clicks, which resulted in about 70 or so employees and up getting fired or leaving the company as the game then eventually did switch from Aspire to Saber Interactive. So Schreier's article kind of caused it almost to happen versus what he was reporting, which maybe is not exactly true. Now, the reason I bring that story up is because for this situation, we have two different things. We have a Naughty Dog statement, which does sound like the game is not in the greatest state. Okay, so their statement I tweeted this. It was like, it's a weird way of saying a couple different things. They talk about how as they're developing the game, they feel like it needs more time. I think that's a very polite, nice way of saying the game's delayed. I I think you can read it, and I certainly will, you can read into it that that is a delay update for the game. They're giving an update and they're saying the game's pushed. Because whether they're talking about the next time they're showing the game or the next time the game or when the game is supposed to release... I think it's all kind of the same. As they're developing, they feel that the game needs more time. To me, that says the game's supposed to come out X, and they have to change it to Y, which means it's pushed. That's not the worst thing in the world. I'm just saying that I do believe it's delayed based off their statement, and they just worded it kind of weird. They also worded the single-player experience weird, uh, and they actually, the whole thing. I mean, the whole thing's a little odd, to be honest with you, because they mentioned like, other projects, which to me, because you say the multiplayer game, because you say the single-player experience, I think that means there's three games being worked on in Naughty Dog. Otherwise, you would have just said two. So there's a couple things I guess you can read into. But that was the first step. Well, then a couple hours later, you have a Bloomberg article from our friend Jason Schreier and he talks about a couple things now again keeping in mind what I just talked about with him I'm willing to like hear him out I'm willing to think okay there's some absolute possibility that this is happening and things certainly do look like they're lining up I just wanted to talk about how he exaggerates for clicks and could have been caught doing that with Aspire I like to hold journalists if that's what they want to call themselves uh, to the fire when they need to so he says Games in trouble, a couple of things. Games in trouble, that they're moving developers off of the game. So it's still being worked on. They are, like, in a sense, slowing down and that they're moving developers to other projects inside of Naughty Dog. And that's because Bungie, which, by the way, I'm not sure if this is the greatest move. Bungie basically has done, like, a full sweep of all of the Sony first party studios and the ones that are making or maybe not even just first party maybe all of them to look at the live service and I think didn't Sony say that so that is true I feel like that part is true for some reason Sony let Bungie evaluate everything they said you're like the kings at this and so I want you to evaluate every single live service game we have and you want I want you to grade it and I want you to tell me kind of what you think about it and it seems like they did that And then the report from Jason specifically says that they came back, Destiny came back, and they were worried about, like, the longevity of the game. They don't think The Last of Us would hold people long term. Now, I mean, (laughs) do you want my honest opinion? I mean, no, honestly, for Bungie, look, I'm not a big Destiny fan. Um, I'm not into it. There's no way I'm getting into it now because Destiny 2 looks like you can't play it if you're a new player nowadays. It looks like it's only for those that have stuck with it. Do I think giving one entity one studio i know you paid a lot of money for them and i know that destiny is very popular and very big and they're relying on them for a lot but like to give them the keys and say 
like look at these other 10 games and you will be the judge juror execution you're gonna be all of it for these games I don't know if that's wise now it's also possible that anybody took a look at the last of multiplayer and said yeah this is not it this is not it um but I don't know like can't you just do factions again and then add a couple extra things to it? And wouldn't that be somewhat, you know, uh, acceptable? <laughs> Maybe not because of like where Naughty Dog is nowadays uh, in their like quality level. But then also, again, you, you look at the article and you say, well, <laughs> and I'll be honest, knowing or watching that video on Knights of the Old Republic, I trust that guy. I trust that guy over Jason Trier. OK, I'll just outright say it. I've never really liked Jason Trier. I've always respected him as a journalist. He does always take slants in what he writes. He writes things for his mindset and only his mindset. So there's always been a biasness, but I've always kind of trusted that he listens to sources and he writes what they say. Now with this KOTOR thing, if, if that's true and he exaggerated and he just did a pretty like not nice thing, I could say other words, but I won't. If he did that, and then that resulted in like a lot of bad things that actually weren't even happening at the time. He kind of was the cause of it. Well, then what's stopping him from doing that with other things? What's clickbaity? The Last of Us multiplayer is in trouble, right? I'm, maybe my title is that right now. I don't know when I'm recording this. Maybe other people's titles are that. But when you're the one who starts that, when you're the one who writes the article saying, oh, Last of Us multiplayer is in trouble, well, you know, you want clicks. Like, that's the whole point. So I don't know. Like, seeing it now, I, I feel like it's true. It definitely seems and sounds like it's true. It's been gone for so long. Why wasn't it at the PlayStation Showcase? Uh, it's been in the works for like two, three years for a multiplayer kind of side project. Like what, what's taking like, so there are questions. So it does make sense. But at the same time, it could it, it, there could be elements of truth. And the rest could be, you know, really bad, which, by the way, like Knights of the Old Republic, this could lead to who knows what, right? Now, Naughty Dog did an update before this. This is going to pick up steam. So on Mon you know, Monday's Memorial Day, maybe like Tuesday, do you issue another statement as Naughty Dog? Like, do you have to come out and like fight this? Because if it's true or false, do you have to say something about this? Because uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you let this linger. It's from somebody that a lot of people deem like, you know, respectable or like a reputable uh, writer, one of the very few that are left, right? So a lot of people value him. Bloomberg, big, the article is obviously going to gain traction. Do you have to say something? And if it's true, how can you say something? You have to say, oh yeah, we're kind of in trouble. We're going to take a lot of people off of it. Maybe the game happens eventually. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it comes out next year. Remember the beginning part, their own statement. I do believe it's delayed. I don't think it's coming out in any form. I know I mentioned like maybe a beta release date or an early access kind of thing. Maybe this year you try to sneak it out this year. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it now. Uh, and that's from their statement. That's not even necessarily Jason. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.